Hey guys, what's up? It's Wags. And yes, I know it has been a while, but I am not going to get into that right now because I am short for time, as usual, because of my 15 minute limit that YouTube gives me. Um, today I have something that I was thinking of for a while that I wanted to build, and it is a minecart speedometer. It's on a flat world. Um, it's, there is a lot of redstone involved, but it's not, it's more complicated to explain than it is to actually build. So, I'll show you exactly what it does right now. So, this is like the area you have right here. Your speeds. And you press this to obviously start the minecart there. Um... That's what it is, and it looks really intimidating because of all that, but it's really not that confusing. Um, it uses, well first I'll show you what it does. So you press that, and this is, the pistons pop up as it accelerates. So, the one drawback is, well I'll, I'll get to that later, and then here's your reset button press that and all the pistons go down now what this uses is an AND gate which that's what an AND gate is and what it is is it let me turn down the sound a little bit um, um, what the AND gate does is it is a redstone gate that causes you to have to have two inputs that are on for the output to turn on. So we have this and lead to a door. Um, so you have that. So that one turns on and that one has to be turned on for the door to open. And how that works is that when this one's turned on it sends power to that redstone torch and this redstone torch is still on so this is still powered which sends power to that which turns that off as an inverter. Um, so you're going to click this, and that turns that one off, turning this off, giving this redstone a pulse. And then it also uses the RS NOR latch, which is, it gives, RS NOR latch, what it does is it allows a button to hold a signal. Um, so, your input is to this block, it's going to be a button. And your output, there's two outputs. Your output will be here, and then we're going to have to have a reset button here. Um, so here, push that, and notice when the button comes unclicked, it still doesn't, the door still doesn't shut. And you're going to go over here and press the reset button. So that's essentially what it is, and... I'll get into it now because I am short for time. So what happens is the minecart, there's a button in there to start the minecart, and then that just, as easy as it is, as it is, excuse me, sends through here, through here, over all that redstone stuff, and straight to the power, or the booster track. So that starts the minecart, the minecart starts going, and it goes over these two these two detector rails and what happens with the uh, AND gate is as I had built over here um, in the track these are replaced with detector rails so what happens is when you step over this and step off of it nothing happens so what you have to do is you have to go over both of those you have to go over that one and then go over that one without that one coming unclicked which Oh, I need to reset it. So, door opens, and so what happens is when this minecart goes over these two detector rails, sends pulse through that, and then through that as it goes over, and because it can go that fast, which is five meters per second, it is it sends power through that and then to the pistons. This is all really confusing because I didn't want the piston or the redstone to touch like this. You can't have that happen. 
Um, so that's why that looks so confusing there. Then it's just this over and over and over again, except this progressively gets bigger. Um, so I counted the detector rail for one tick. So this is two ticks over one block. So if there's ten redstone ticks in one second, it takes, since this is two ticks, you multiply that by five to get one second. And then you also have to multiply how many blocks it goes over to get how many meters per second because one block is one meter. So you have to multiply this by five and then how many blocks. So that gives you five meters per second, which is the first setting on the piston meter. Then you're going to go to this one, which is also two ticks and two blocks. So you multiply this by five and then two by five which gives you ten and so on and so forth um... the one drawback is that i don't think um... the detector rails i think they stay on for longer than one tick which means that the measurements on that thing aren't correct i.e. it's giving a it's giving the minecart a higher speed than what is actually its speed. So if anyone knows the actual speed or the actual amount of time that the detector rail stays on, please post that in the comments and I'll give you a shout out in the next video. So they progressively get bigger and it goes around goes around and then comes back to there. And then all this is here's the AND gates and the RS normal latches. And gates, RS normal latches, and then this stuff, all of these redstone lines, that's just the output of the RS normal latch coming into the pistons. And then this track, this is all the reset button. So, as confusing as, as it looks, it's not too confusing. So, I'll show you it again. Um, start the cart. And it will get fill up all these, all of the pistons, and then you're gonna press the reset. And then, so I'll go over here. There's the minecart, um, and I will follow it. So it's able to go over both detector rails before the first one comes unclicked, or the pulse. It goes over both of them before the pulse of the first one goes away. And I will, in my next video, it will be a tutorial on how to build it. So, ooh, that was close. So, yes, thank you for watching. Check out my channel. It'll be posted in the description. Please like, subscribe, and give it a thumbs down if you don't like it. But please tell me why your input is considered always. So, I'll see you guys later.